In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the A tag in HTML to create hyperlinks or create anchor text. And we're getting started right now. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from Higher Learning Lab, where we help you code better so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If it's your first time here, hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more tutorials for you. With that out of the way, let's use the A tag to make some hyperlinks over in the screen capture. I'll see you there. All we have to do is we have the less than symbol and the A, and then we just need to have the greater than symbol. And the attribute that you see here is href, H-R-E-F, which is the most common attribute inside an A tag. It's not always present. You don't need it all the time. There are some uses for H tags where you don't have a href, but they're pretty rare. So we have our attribute here, the href equals opening quotes and closing quotes. And in between the quotes, we have our URL. In this case, higherlearninglab.com. Following that, we have our anchor text, which is followed by the closing A tag. And that is the basic structure of a link. So if we save this page, refresh it over here where I have it in my browser, we see this is anchor text, and that is an active hyperlink. I can click that and go to higherlearninglab.com. That is all you need to do to make a link. But there are some additional attributes that come in quite useful that are, you're gonna use a lot. I think there's about 14 or 15 attributes that go into an A tag, but over the past uh, six or seven years of web development, I've really only used two or three of them. So I'm gonna show you the two or three that I've used learn those ones, and then I'll link to the other ones down below and you can learn those if for interest sake, but chances are you're not gonna use them very much. So the first one that I use a lot is called title. So we write title equals open quotes and closing quotes, and I'm gonna write in here, this is the title. And you'd wanna have a descriptive title that describes the link itself. Not like mine, mine's a pretty terrible description. But I save the file, refresh the page over here, and I'll show you what this does. It doesn't actually appear by default on the page, but if you hover over the link and you stay there for a second, that's when the title appears. So that text that we have in the title tag, this is the title, is what appears in this little yellow box that appears when you hover over the link for a second. Then the other one that I use a lot is called the target attribute. Target equals open and closing quotes. And we have a couple of options here. The one that is used the most often is called blank. And what that does is when you click a link, it will open that link in a new tab. So if you don't add this attribute, the link will open in the same tab. So I'm just gonna change this URL because this domain's actually not active yet. Shame on me. I'm gonna change that URL and show you, show you what I mean. So if we save this file, refresh this page, we click on this link, it will go within this tab to the URL that we specify. Now if we go back to the page, if we add the target attribute back in, and we define it as blank, come back, refresh the page, now when I click this, it's gonna open the link in a new tab. And here's our original tab. Here's the new tab the link was opened in. And de depending on which browser you're using, it might be in a new window, or it's gonna be in a new tab, depending on your browser. And that is the target attribute. There's a bunch of other, um, there's a bunch of other parameters for the target attribute, like self and parent, but most often you're gonna use the blank or just not have the target attribute there at all. And lastly, the attribute that I use most often with these other two is the style attribute. And the style attribute allows you to apply CSS to your link. So if you wanted to change the text color, you could have style color colon um, red. I'm gonna make the link red. Save the file refresh the page and our link color is red. And those are the three that are most commonly used for, uh, for, for links. So you have your A tag, 
is used to create a link, you have to have the href in there to actually tell browsers where the link links to. Then the title attribute, the target attribute, and the style attribute are the most commonly used ones. And like I said, there's about 14 in total, 14 or 15 in total. A lot of them are very rare and they're never used. I haven't had to really use them at all in the past six or seven years of doing this stuff. But click the link below this video. Feel free to learn about them. And the more you know, the better, right? So check those out. So that's all there is to using the A tag. It's a pretty basic tag. There's not too much you can do with it. And there's also not too much you can do wrong. I hope this video helps you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below the video. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe. Then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more tutorials. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right and learning more about coding, getting even better at it. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.